Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, so, yeah, this morning I just want to kind of walk around the car to kind of point, you know, some of the design cues and uh, the challenges behind the development with uh, design and engineering to, to do this great car. So I hope that the first time you see it, you can see that it's a Mazda, but yet the expression has been very uh, different than like a new CX-9 or new CX-5, right? Um, basically, Mazda design is trying to broader its expression and tonality between two feelings, the N and the RIN. You know, usually the first thing that comes into your eyes is the way we treat uh, surfaces. Um, so in the CX-9 and CX-5, the car is very much like a blade. You know, you have like some really kind of angular, sharp uh, front end. Um, we try to light up the front end and bring all of that power into the rear wheel, which we call traction form. Um, within the um, the soft top, um, the RF, and also the RX Vision that you've seen as a concept car, we are working as a, as a new kind of uh, design philosophy of the surface treatment, which is called the, uh, the surface base, um, the reflection based surfacing. And what it does is we really do study how is the environment going to reflect on the vehicle. Um, you know, in the past, you know, the designers always, you know, when they stretch a line, that line is usually a hard edge. And so what we're doing is actually um, moving away from this and have something a lot more kind of organic. Um, and when you have something organic, the only thing you can really judge the car is how is that building or that horizon line is going to reflect on the, the bodywork. So on the RF, obviously, what we had for us is an amazing package to start with. The idea is always to seduce the eyes, you know, this kind of, you know, showcasing this irrational seduction. You know, in terms of proportion, everyone has in his mind like a reference to a, a classic car, you know, from, from the Italian in the 60s, right? And, you know, we wanted to hit that tone. When you see it, you have to fall in love with it. And, um, and, and quite frankly, it's about you um, containing the volumes. So when you look at the vehicle, a lot of those lines and those volume kind of circle around the vehicle. I mean, you have it on the, on the hood, but then all the way on the side and all around graphically, you, you know, you have so much plan view that at first glance, the whole car is contained as a circle above the car, and which seduces the eyes very well. Instead of having the typical, um, you know, kind of square type of ratio, you have something that's a lot more round. So design never, um, when we started to work on this, this, um, this car, we never um, approached the uh, retractable fastback as a bubble top like it was in the previous model. We've only entertained a stretched uh, fastback to create more kind of dynamism to it, which created a lot of friction with uh, injuring to start with, because obviously the first question like, well, you can't fold that much mass if you go with like those buttress scenario. So we, uh, you know, we sat down with, with the engineers um, you know, for, for many months to see how can we break up that volumes um, and at the same time not compromise the space in the trunk. And you know, today the space in the trunk is actually the same as the soft top. Um, so yeah, from a basically volume standpoint where you can see it's like we wanted to stretch and create an offset, even though the soft top is really 50-50, which is on numbers 50-50, here we're very close, but visually we wanted to create an offset and really push the whole cabin backwards to still give a lot of kind of this real um, kind of dynamic traction form into the, the, the rear wheel. Um, the entire kind of this quarter panel, um, we've tried to contain this volume. So when you look at the car from three quarter rear, we have really nice tangencies, which really kind of again empower the, the, the wheel arcs instead of having this kind of having very much vertical. Uh, from a graphic standpoint, on um, the window graphics contouring, you know, we actually push the graphics rear, you know, in order to create, to accentuate this, um, this dynamism to it. Uh, something we're very, very proud is actually, you know, this line right here. Um, most of the competitors are doing a, um, a retractable fastback. Um, that line is actually a lot lower for uh, mechanical reasons. So we work really hard to actually put it right on the crisp, which is those two surfaces, including a small dish. So when you walk through the car, actually this line disappears. So it doesn't look like, you know, that volume is kind of fragmented, you know, it does look very fluid. Um, so that is a huge achievement within engineering, pushing the boundaries of uh, mechanics and, and manufacturing. Um, so the, the roof falls, you know, in few parts. I'll, uh, I'll try to do it from, from here.
pretty cool, right? There's definitely like a wow factor. I mean, when you see like all those, you know, three parts coming up, you know, together and you know, folding like a perfect bento box, you know, in the back. Um, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing um, mechanism. Um, it doesn't weight um, very much. You know, still adds up to the soft top, but it's it's quite minimal. Um, I think the whole weight is about the weight of an infant, you know, sitting next to you. So it, it's pretty minimum. Um, you know, obviously, even though we have the buttress, we're trying to push them as far back as possible. We still have to kind of go back in in order to fit, you know, all of the the mass um, down down below. Um, on terms of the interior, um, not much has changed, even though we do have the Napa leather. So we're trying to improve, again, the craftsmanship. On the interior, we have a, um, a bigger, I think, LCD screen on the left gauges. Obviously, we have you know, the, the switch and so on to open the, the retractable. Um, but yeah, overall, obviously, it is still based on an MX-5 soft top. But having you know, added this kind of component to it and stretch it, blend it nicely towards the, the, the rear, give you an impression that's completely different. And I think we hit the mark of this kind of sensitive classical automotive, but yet in a, in a modern way. And I think it's easy to fall in love with this car. And it's completely different than a CX-9 or a CX-5, the way it is treated. And this is kind of where the brand is going, is we want to broader that expression. Um, one's going to be much more on the uh, purity, and this is kind of the Japanese take on purity, intensity for your purity, you don't have many lines, you don't have many character lines to make the car feel animalistic and powerful. It's all about just sexiness and, and beauty. And on the other side, the alluring side of, of Japan is CX-9 and CX-5, which is much more, in a way, aggressive in its direction. It's very much, you know, kind of a linear, um, kind of penetration in the, in the uh, uh, for, for the air. I'm confused. Yesterday, when we were talking about the CX-5, that was the direction that Mazda was going. Today, you said this is the direction Mazda is going. Which way are you going? Well, we have two direction. You know, they both have purity into it, but the expression and the surface work is very much different. One is a lot crisper. Um, if you look at the line, look at the new uh, like body side on the CX-5, it's almost kind of flat, and you have this edge. It's really, really crisp. The front face is kind of a blade that defragmented look to really show like the depth of the of the grill, like the way the the whole hood uh, is, is folded. You know, you have an extreme um, kind of sharpness to it. You know, you can see it's a lot more kind of round and softer. You know, we only rely on reflection-based surfacing, which is how is that building going to reflect in the car to describe dynamism. So is this just for the, uh, for the MX-5, or is it going to carry through to your passenger cars, or, or what, are you going to diverge? Sure, right now, well, I can't talk about future product, but basically we, we, we studied this within the RF, but you know, we kind of stretch it within the, the RX Vision as a concept cars. And you can see the RX Vision only rely on surface based, reflection based surfacing to, to judge the, the, the design of the vehicle. So um, we're going to broaden that expression you know, for the, the next lineup. Yeah. You really like to tune your eyes to understand the, the differences between the, those two kind of expression. But you know, f think of this one being a lot more kind of organic and only um, you know, um, being based on what it's reflecting into it to judge the design. And the other one, you still have some much more crisper line and much more kind of aggressive um, you know, kind of surfaces in order to show a much more of a directional uh, attitude. Does this architecture relate in any way to the architecture of the CX-5? Um, the mechanical the mechanical. They're all they're all different. They're completely different. Different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I welcome you guys to kind of walk around. Um, you know, what's what's interesting is not just to pay attention only on graphics. Um, you know, and usually it, this is how you judge a vehicle. First, you look at the contouring of the vehicle, and then you're looking at, you know, like the the outer line of the grille and the outer line of the uh, uh, the, the front lamp to give you like to tell you the expression of the vehicle. If you, you have a subconscious that really pays attention into the reflection and how those reflection kind of navigates, um, rather they're very flexible um, or they have a lot more kind of rhythm to it. So if you really pay attention to the way the surface work and the reflection works around the vehicle, those reflection is really what triggers that falling in love 
um, attributes. So again, if you look around, just trying to pay attention to those to those reflections. Do we have an encore performance of you putting the top up? Again? Top okay. Thank you.